Oh, nice armbar takedown there. Good lord. Counter after counter. Tom Sever and Fortune are displaying their abilities in this ring, in this gauntlet match. And on the bottom left hand side where Tom Sever's nameplate is, his stamina meter is dropping significantly while Fortune, unfortunately, uh, fortunately for Fortune, he gets to have his spirit meter or his stamina meter at, at full, at full capacity. And that's not quite fair, knowing that he's getting his ass chewed out. There it is. Oh, right in the gut. There it is. <clears throat> Oh, swing and neck breaker. Nicely done there by Steve. Oh, ducks underneath. Yakuza kick was blocked by a punch in the face. And now Fortune has got Tom Sever right where he wants him. Oh. Last summer at Obliteration in August, Tom Sever actually ran a gauntlet and he got his ass handed to him. Ultimately what happened was Lieutenant Colonel Tony Towers was the first one to lose his job. Rochito Grande was the next. But the very end of that gauntlet he lost to prime time from a uh, tilt-to-world two-stone power driver on the outside floor giving him a slight concussion or a very bad headache. This is Tom Sever's first uh, gauntlet match from the event, or since the event. Now it would be goddamn if he loses this, this event at the very end. Now Tom, feeling pretty pumped up. Can this be a, this be a change? In the tidings, remember that triple power bomb. Look at that animalistic power right there. Turns them over, going for the cover, and Steve is still in. Oh shit! Not for maybe not for long. Who knows? Wait a second, oh, backdrop. I guess Fortune is not licked yet. One, two. Neither is the, uh, is Tom. Oh, look at this. Fortune manages to escape by back elbowing Tom right in the face. My God! Oh, wait a, look at double underhook, butterfly suplex on the top row, and uh, Steve Fortune also has a uh, the ability to perform submission hold and manage to lock them in. It can be very, very dangerous. So, though he is a high flyer, quote unquote can still outperform and put people into submission very quickly. Oh, belly to back, suplex by Tom. I think uh, Steve Fortune is done here, fans. He's not getting up. There's the Tiger Suplex in the center of the ring. Where are you, Sky Count? No! He barely escaped. 
He barely got out of that one, fans. There's number two. Here's number three. Bam. Going for the cover. One, two, three. <laughs> Take that. Tom Sever did not waste any time with Steve Fortune. That was number three. Now here comes number four. Who will it be? Yamada has drone number five. We're about halfway done the gauntlet for the gold. Tom Sever has still got a lot of energy left in him. Let's see how much energy he'll have when he has to meet this guy right here, representing Team Japan, trained by the Black Ninja and Yoshihiro Tajiri. This is Keegan Yamada. Good luck there, Tom. Oof. Jesus. Tangles up his arm into a side headlock. Tom Sever is still at it. He's still active. Oh, that was nice. The special, the triple power bomb. Look at the size difference between Keegan and Tom. Oh, cross face. Too early. Too early for a submission hold. And too early for a pinfall too. Nice arm submission holder, bringing it up, trying to dislocate it. Oh, beautiful spear! Keegan's in bad trouble here. Wait a minute, he counters it. Very nice. And Keegan having a hard time trying to body suplex Tom Sever. Go well, on there, Keegers. Let go of him. There you go. Oh, he's dizzy. He's dazed and confused. Not like the movie. Oh shit! Yamada just drop kicks Sever on the outside floor, face first on the concrete. Two. As the senior official Three. Sky Stanley makes the count, Keegan Yamada looking Five. on there, and Tom Sever is uh, Six. not showing any signs he's getting Seven. up. Come on there, Tom. Nine. Come on! He makes it back in very, very last minute. Oh! I think Tom needs to take a few minutes to think about this. But Tom, but Tom is getting his ass chewed out here by Keegan. Good freaking night. Nice. 